What's going on guys, Ram Grooman here and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can start making your leg day so much more fun because I've experienced it, you know, you are finish your week and like I used to legs on Friday, well I used to, and Friday comes and you're just dreading it and it's just like the worst feeling ever. Some of you guys might enjoy leg day and only recently now I've started to enjoy training legs a lot more and I'm going to tell you them points so you can use them yourself and hopefully start making some gains in them damn legs and you can start enjoying the workout so much more so let's begin the video so the first one is start training legs at the start of the week I usually train them on a Monday the reason is because like I've had my weekend break or I've had a Sunday off then it's like a completely new week and I'll be honest as soon as like legs is out of the way that's like half my week done so make sure you start training your legs at the start of the week if you're one of them people who don't really like to train legs so make sure you train legs on like a Monday and just get them out of the way so now the second one is make sure before you train legs you get enough food because I've experienced it again myself my pre-workout meal has been poor which has led to a poor leg workout so you want to make sure that you've got enough calories in you for you to go and kill them squats even like a day before uh, night before I usually just increase my calories a little bit so I've got the energy I've got the fuel behind me for me to go and kill them squats if I get that feeling like I'm feeling lightheaded after my squats I know I haven't had enough food so the third one this is a big one this is a big one for me anyway is having the right mindset for me to go and do the session I usually get some pre-workout motivation I go on YouTube watch someone like, I don't know, uh, Simeon Panda, Bradley Martin just squatting and that like gets me motivated. You're having the right mindset knowing it's just going to be an hour, an hour of just, no, not that, an hour of just work, that's better, yeah work's a lot better word. Oh yeah, while we're on this having the right mindset, just put that phone aside as well because I've seen it all these guys on like the leg extension texting doing the leg extension or even on the leg press got the phone out here and doing the leg press bro come on man this is not linked to what I have just said but be prepared when you go to the gym know what exercise you're gonna do uh, how many sets how many reps and make sure you are prepared before you go into the gym and don't just again if you're not prepared you're just gonna go through the motions because if you if it's like a session where you know it isn't your favorite and you have no preparation before you even step foot into the gym you're just gonna end up going through the motions and just not know what to do so now the last one is look at the positives of training legs just because a lot of the times like I don't for example I don't really show my legs because it's so damn cold here in England Look at the positive, like for example, especially the Asian, like Asians have the worst genetics for leg development. Even your lifts, for example, your deadlifts, they'll be a lot stronger if you've got good, powerful legs. And also like, come on man, you're wearing shorts, like just say you're massive like upper body and all of a sudden you got like some chicken legs. It doesn't work out. So like, just look at the positive. Don't just think that just because my legs are never showing that there's no point of you even training them no don't have that kind of mindset so if you like the video make sure to leave that thumbs up take them points on board and i shall see you all in the next video peace